Welcome RPA Champions, this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be learning how to connect Power Automate Desktop to Power Automate in the cloud. Now this is going to be great because it's going to allow us to run processes directly from the cloud but also to use all of the great connectors that we have in Power Automate in the cloud also use them with all of the different automations that we can do on our computer. Now to start connecting the two we have to go to uh, Power Automate in the cloud and let's create a new flow. So let's create a flow that is triggered with a click. So let's call this a desktop flow. And let's create this flow. Now, the first thing that we have to do is add a step that is going to connect to our uh, computer. So let's look for desktop flow here we go desktop flow now desktop flow has different uh, different ways that it can run different uh, processes on our computer so it can run a power automate desktop that is the one that we're going to be looking in this example but it can also run a selenium ind or a windows recorded process so let's run our power automate desktop uh, now I have already created a connection so I will add a new connection just to show you how it works. So you will be asked to, uh, to connect to a gateway. Now to connect to a gateway you, you can download it from your home page from your all of your flows. So to show you where that is so if you would go to your main home page where your flows are and you go to install right here you will find the on-premise data gateway now if you download that install it on your computer connect with your account that you're using currently on power automate you will be able to uh, connect your gateway so the domain on the other hand is uh, the domain you would go to uh, your cmd so for example you would go to Windows, you would search for CMD, and you would type in who am I to know exactly the to know your domain, your username, and also your password. Obviously, you should know that. So I will insert all this information here, and once I click create, I will be able to connect Power Automate Cloud to uh, uh, to my computer so I can already see the different uh, processes that I have created on my uh, on my computer so I will select the calculator and I will also select w in what way do I want to run this kind of process do I want to run it in an attended way or in, in an unattended way the attended way runs the process when we sign in and the unattended process runs without it runs in the background and we wouldn't uh, see it. So I will run this in an attended way so that we can see the calculator actually opening up once we trigger this process. Now we click save and just as an example, right now here we could add different other modules that uh, leverage the great power and capabilities of Power Automate connectors. So that is really great and this is where a lot of, uh, a lot of great capabilities and processes could be made by connecting Power Automate Desktop and Power Automate in the cloud. Now let's test our process and see if this works. So right now, theoretically, we should activate a process on our local computer or on whatever computer we have decided to connect to. So I will save this and I will test this process manually. Now this process on my computer should, let's check it out. So let's open Power Automate on our computer. And here on our computer, we can see that we have the processes that we saw before. Now, if we open the calculator and we see in detail what this process does, it just basically opens the calculator. Uh, now, if we go back to this, and just before we run our flow, let's open the editor. 
and see what kind of actions do we have here. Nothing, uh, nothing fancy, just opening the calculator, clicking on a couple of elements, send, sending a couple of keystrokes, and clicking again on the equal sign. All right, so let's run the calculator. So let's see what happens. So right now it is trying to connect to my computer. It is still waiting and waiting. And right now it has started. It has opened on another screen, but now it should continue with the different actions. There we go. 7 plus 4, it is equal to 11. And that was the different, uh, the different actions from the process. So there we, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we connect Power Automate in the cloud to Power Automate desktop. I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, that you have learned something. And if you would like to see more videos like this or something similar to this, don't forget to leave some comments in the messages below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great evening.